Let's get back to Max Anstey. How's he feeling? Because literally, it's two weeks away for A1. Yeah, quite mental, isn't it? Like even when I was when I was interviewing him and I said to him like some I said something to him about Kim being at Anaheim one, and like as I said it in my head, I was like, that sounds insane. Like Max, like is Max Anstey's actually going to be at Anaheim one? Like this is actually happening. But the injury has obviously changed everything now. It looks like he's going to be out until the start of outdoors, at least with that Achilles injury. But hey, at least that puts him in a position to make a run at the 450 MX title. And then that in turn gives him a good shot of finding a deal for 2021. But it's tough out there. So the decision for me to come to the States um, and have a go at racing Supercross and, and motocross out here again um, was a feeling, you know, I'd, I did it when I was younger. Um, I, I did it when I was 14, 15, 16, turned professional over here, raced Supercross. Um, and, then, and then I've spent the last however many years back in, back in Europe racing MXGP. And, and I was saying to my wife, I was saying to the people close to me that um, I, if I didn't give this a go, if I didn't give this a chance and a shot, um, and I had the opportunity, then I would regret not doing that and you know, finishing up my whole career in, in Europe. So um, I'm lucky, I'm uh, thankful to the HEP Suzuki team for giving me the opportunity. Uh, they were interested in me from back in May of 2019, well early and, uh, and to be honest, I, it was just something that I really, really felt like it was pulling me to do. And um, I, we came out here to get married in, in October and I just didn't go back home. I just stayed out here and uh, tried to make this work. So following on from uh, from from our wedding in, in October, um, we uh, went on a quick honeymoon, and um, and I was literally sat there thinking, do we get on a plane to to America or do we go back to Europe? And eventually decided to go to California, come to California, and um, try and make something happen. I finalised things with Suzuki. I was trying training and uh, training and riding with my teammates. Um, was pushing things along. I've got. Uh, an agent over here, uh, Jimmy Button, um, who's, uh, who's been pushing things along and opening doors up for me. Um, and yeah, it, it was going well. I mean, I was, I was riding and, and testing a few things and I bottomed out on, on this jump and I hit my heel on the ground. And I thought, God, that hurt a little bit, like up through my calf. And um, I went to the doctor the next day just to get it checked because it was a bit swollen. And um, the doctor straight up turned around and told me, yeah, you just strained your calf muscle. It's three to five days. You'll be fine. Ice it and just get on with it. So I was like, all right, I need to just man up now and, uh, and, and crack on. So um, I literally got, I continued riding, continued riding, continued training. Um, doing motos, but I wasn't feeling like 100% with my foot. Like it, it, it was, it was weird because it didn't really hurt that much. It just didn't, didn't feel that strong. Um, so, so then uh, I went and said, right, I need to go and get an MRI to double check this thing. Um, Cause I thought it'd be better by now. This was like a month after my initial feeling of it, you know, when I hurt it the first time. And, um, and they said, yeah, that I torn my, uh, torn my Achilles. So, that threw a big spanner in the plan. Um, and yeah, one thing led to another. Obviously phone calls were made trying to figure things out. I don't know doctors here in America. I didn't, it was all kind of new, you know, it was new with the team. It was new with, with just being over here. So it's weird, like if, if I'm in Belgium, I just go to Dr. De Brown and, uh, and he'd kept me sorted out. Whereas, uh, whereas being here, I was, scratching my head like right who to who to speak to who to talk to and anyway i was lucky i got put in contact and uh and sent up to um fremont near san francisco to see dr ting and got the ball rolling and he he done uh he did a surgery on me um within a few days um a, a special type of surgery i mean i've researched it a little bit obviously since this has happened um and uh, uh He's, he's, he's obviously attached to the Achilles, which is what they normally do, um, but then he's reinforced it with a bit of surgical fiber or an extra ligament um, 
something along those lines. I don't obviously know the exact terms. Um, so it's stronger and and should be uh, should be better a lot quicker. You know, he's uh, he's got a good track record with this type of surgery. This is what he specialises in. Um, since the injury, the plan changed a little bit. Um, focus was on rehab in a way i mean for the first six weeks to be honest i couldn't do a lot it was i couldn't my foot was pointed down um it was in a cast for three weeks then in a boot um and I, I wasn't really allowed to do a lot with my foot but but then at six weeks literally six weeks on the day i was i was up in uh, in fremont san near san francisco for the uh, for rehab at the office up there and the doctor came and felt it and pulled it around i was like oh okay and he's like, yeah, you need to get more aggressive with it now. They tried to put me on a trampoline straight away. So they were like, right, okay, not bouncing on a trampoline, just sort of <laughs> trying to get, get it working. So, uh, so yeah, literally it's from that six week mark, it stepped up. So when I got up there, they pushed me to, I was going up every week. Um, so they pushed me to the level where I need to get to. So then that week I go away and work on it in the gym. So you know, even I'm just trying to do as much physical training as I can, even just rowing and things like that, because that's good for my foot to get the mobility back. Um, and also, you know, trying to keep myself going. Um, so yeah, it's just been for the first six weeks, it was a lot of other training, other body, just kind of keep the blood going. Now it's getting the most, the mobility back in my foot, walking as normally as possible. It's going going well. Every day I am seeing improvements. Like each uh, each day it gets one or two percent better. But obviously foot is main thing. As long as I can get my foot feeling like I can push, um, then I know as long as I can train and do solid work on the bike, I'll be at a pretty good level. Um, then I need to test and develop the bike a little bit. Yeah, I've got a lot of work to do, um, but I've got a plan to do that. I'm excited for that. And obviously, you know, I, I am racing this, this outdoor season. I'm, I expect to go and do well. You know, I, I know guys have struggled coming over here, um, but I know it's 10 years ago, but I still do remember most of the tracks like, and, and they're not too much different. There's only Southwick I haven't been to and Unadilla I haven't been to and Ironman. I think the rest of the outdoors I've actually been to before. So um, I know the 15 minute practices and you've got to go straight into your times and you, you don't have much time to warm up. Uh, I, I understand all those things. I'm not going to underestimate it and I'm for sure not going to underestimate the, uh, the outdoor championship. Um, even though, yeah, you can go and say, oh, I did well at Redbud and I've done well at, at Nations when I've raced the Americans. I know that tracks are prepped differently. The boys are going to be obviously on it on their on their own tracks and in their own ground, and I'm in their back garden. So, um, you know, on top of all of that, you know, I'm I'm riding for a deal. I don't have something for 2021, so a lot of it's going to rely on how we do on outdoors. I haven't had the whole Supercross season to, you know, build myself up and uh, and show something. So I'm uh, I'm going out there to do the best job that I can.